I'm live. All right. So, um, if you are here with me, go ahead and put your comments in or questions or answers to um, my goals questions in the comments below and I will try to find them. Um, and um, this is a weekly goals meeting. So we start with our check-in and then we go through our wins from last week and set our goals for this week. And the theme for this week is I am in control of my energy. So that's kind of where we're going to go with this for this week. What control do we have over our own energy? So today, my energy was very low. Um, I guess a week of very um, high energy and activity and family time and lots of cooking um, ran me down. So I have a very strong sinus headache today that I'm fighting. And um, so I've been rolling, like rolling like crazy all over my sinuses all day. Um, so I'm gonna do that here as well. Um, deep relief is what I like to use in peppermint, a peppermint roller as well. So I've been using that all day. So let's just check in with ourselves for a moment. Take a few deep breaths with me and just check in with how you're doing right now. Um, and just take some breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And settle in to this meeting and settle into your own reflection time. If you use oils, then you can do the oil breathing with me too. Taking some deep breaths of peppermint oil really helps me with my sinuses, opening them up. And I have a chest rub that I make as well. If you haven't got my sinus series, I have a series of five emails with all these recipes and things I do. Um, I have to neti pot. So there's even a demonstration of me doing the neti pot. So anyway, um, that's on my website, www.tanyamilano.com. If you wanna find the link to the sinus series, it has all these recipes. So in my chest balm, I've been doing all this all day long. I got my tea ready to go. So let's get started. Um, so wins from last week, I made a turkey. It was really good. I made my mom's um, stuffing recipe. We do that every year in honor of her. Plus it's just so yummy. I made an apple pie. So those are some wins for me. Also, I managed to launch a bunch of stuff <laughs> all at once for coaching and yoga. And I sent an email out today. So I'm excited um, to try to launch some more online things. And if you're watching with me, let me know in the comments and type your wins too, because I love to hear everybody's wins. Um, yeah, so yeah, those are a couple of my wins. So um, then let's go over you know, how we're going to keep our energy high and keep um, a good vibe. So everybody hears that all the time, like good vibes, um, you know, keep your energy frequency high and oils do, does that for me, but um, mindset, 
is why I've started coaching is we have control over our own mindset. So if you're going to um, want to raise your energy, you need to work on mindset every day. Oh, and that's another win from last week is just um, focusing on gratitude, uh, the gratitude seven day challenge. So you can go through that anytime you need a reset that's in the unit section here in my Facebook group. Just to snap out of any um, low vibe or low frequency energy that you're feeling, you can go through that seven day gratitude challenge and start a journaling practice um, as well, just to get um, a reset. Um, yes, yeah, so how do we keep our energy high with all the crazy stuff going on around us? And when you're a mom, you have other people's energies affecting you. Um, I guess not just moms, but dads too. When you have a family, basically you're affected by other people's energies. So um, not only do you need to keep your own energy high uh, and positivity high, you have or you feel a responsibility to for those around you and your family to also boost their energy. So any of the things that you're doing personally, how can you bring them into your family? So um, that's, that's something to think about, you know, gratitude practice, not just for yourself. How can you do that as a family? How can you instill that in your kids? And then how can you get buy-in for your spouse or your significant other? to be a cohesive unit for that sort of thing. Um, so we all have those low vibe things that get to us in life. We are where our confidence is low. Um, constant reminders, we have to let go of the weaknesses and, and highlight the strengths. And so something um, I love to do this week uh, with the full moon, which is actually uh, tonight, full moon, the full moon illuminates your um, positive changes. So whatever you can do um, in the next day or two or right now to illuminate any positive um strengths that you have. Write them down, say them aloud, make some affirmations, mantras, prayers. Um, oh, Tanner, you liked my video. Hi, bud. <laughs> Are you watching me? Put your wins down below. Um, anyway, I derailed. So, um, this is a great time for you to think of your strengths and highlight them. The full moon will help you with that. And um, so something that increases my energy is to really take this time during the full moon to have a full moon yoga practice, a bath, um, a journaling time, oils and crystals and things like that really boost my energy. So I want you to think of the things that really lift you up into that higher frequency energy. You feel it body, mind, and soul. What else? Um, okay. So those are the things we can be in control of. When we feel like we're not in control of the world around us, we can um, make a list of things that we can control, practices we can do um, to get back into control of our own vibration. So for me, goals for me to be able to do that, and my husband knows this, I tell him all the time, I need to be alone, I need reflection time, me time, um, and time with nature. That's something that I have to schedule in personally before I get off track. What else rise, raises my energy, my positive energy? 
um, yeah, time to go inward. So journaling time. Uh, the other day I drove my sister to the airport. She visited and we had Thanksgiving and we cooked everything together and um, she had a really early flight. And so I took her to the airport and it was um, four in the morning. And I was listening to some things that help with my positivity, uh, mindset coaching, uh, YouTube videos and uh, podcasts and things like that. So on the way home, I had to stop at coffee and take some time to reflect. And um, like all the things when I'm alone driving that flood, flood my uh, mind. So I stopped, I had to journal. I keep my little, um, I keep this little journal here. I wrote down some notes for um, our meeting today and notes for full moon yoga and notes for coaching. And so I need that time by myself for the ideas to flow. Um, what else? So journaling is one that raises my energy, my vibration. Um, yeah, listening to my spiritual leaders or mentors. Um, whenever, any chance I get, I try to once a day to listen to something positive um, while I'm doing the dishes or while I'm taking a walk or folding laundry, I try to get that positive positivity in and my men, uh, listen to mentors and spiritual leaders of any kind. Um, and for me, I really like to listen to astrology stuff that helps me feel connected um, to something as well. Um, eating healthy raises my positive energy. Um, this week I knew I was gonna be eating really weird things that I'm not used to eating, eating more than I'm not used to eating. And I uh, make it okay. It's a holiday, it's all right. No negative feelings, no shame, no blame, no regrets, but I know that I'm gonna start feeling worse off after a while. So I get back on track really quickly. And today I'm pretty sure some of my headache is because I overate and had dairy, lots of dairy. So eating healthy raises my positive energy. Um, and I'm gonna get back on track this week. And also um, in my coaching group, if you're in here, um, December 1st to December 21st, I'll be posting how to sugar detox and intermittent fast. So if you wanna join me, get in the coaching group and join me because I need it in between the two holidays to really focus and not start um, getting unhealthy and just feeling my my um, energy weaken and lower and then lots of other things bad things start happening so i like to keep my energy level up with good foods and nutrition and supplements so join in with me if you're interested um, message me for information or look in the description of the video what else raises my energy of course, exercise and yoga, um, taking a brisk walk, yes, raises my energy and unblocks any energy that's going on in my body. All right, so goals for this week. Now on to goals for this week. So one of my goals is to start that 21 day um, detox this week. Um, and one of my goals is to have people come with me and do it for accountability because I need the accountability just as much as everybody else does. Um, another goal is to do full moon yoga tomorrow night at eight. So I hope you can join me. It's a different Zoom link um, in, uh, in the group. So find that. And um, another goal I have this week is to limit my distractions on um, media, social media. 
and the news. That lowers my positive energy and um, I really start to spiral downhill. So focusing on um, all the positive people and relationships and um, scheduling in the things that give me positivity. So I'm going to schedule in when I'm going to be able to take my walks by myself and um, do my yoga and things like that. And then schedule my eating this week so I can get back on track and pick some healthy meals as part of my goals. Um, let's see, is that everything I wrote down? Let me see here. So write your goals in the comments for the week. Um, yeah, and then if you're not in my coaching group, then um, look for the look up for how to get in. I have so many specials this week on how, because we're ending 2020 with a bang, and I have lots of coupon codes and really an expensive ways to get in here into my coaching and to do um, do some really good work for ourselves and to raise all of our vibrations because when we all become a positive force then we ripple out to everybody around us so before i get off here i just want to plug my new course in january because tomorrow's the last day of november and if you want to get into the course for free and get the um full trans transformation we're using um, some supplements and products that are on promo this month. So you only have one more day to get those for free if you want to get those for the full transformation. So PM me um, ASAP if you want to know what the supplements are, and then you can join us for our 28 days to elevate your life in January. You can still you can still come and join us later than tomorrow, but tomorrow is the last day to get the products for free. So let me know if you're interested in that. And those are all my goals for this week. So everybody have a great night. Take some time to journal and to write in your planner, all the things that you hope to accomplish and type them for us so we can all check in with each other. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.